I'm Isabel from the upcoming. How are you, how are you doing? Lovely to speak to you. Very well, thank you. So, um, can you start by sort of giving us a brief introduction? What is the film Femme about? What can people expect when they watch it? It's about it's about it's about drag. It's about identity. Um, yeah, that's probably the, the most succinct way. Uh, and then the story is 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 Jules. It's Jules's story played by Nathan Stewart Jarrett. And Jules is a, is a drag artist um, who's working and it's kind of the height of his powers and the kind of more feminine side of his identity. And at the beginning of the film, there's a terrible homophobic attack by this fella, Preston, that I play. Months later, Jules runs into Preston at a gay sauna and you realise that Preston's in the closet. And so he begins a relationship with Preston when I don't recognise who he is, so to exact his revenge. And what was it like stepping into that role of Preston? I mean, essentially, he, he's a bit of an outsider, closeted outsider. I mean, how was that for you to kind of transform your physical appearance to play this role it was I mean it was it was like fantastic basically I mean he's a pretty you know he's there's elements of Preston that are pretty toxic but that said that there's so much as an actor there's so much kind of to dive into and so much fundamentally that I think is also that you can kind of it's a very sort of human thing he's, he's scared of himself in a lot of ways and he's scared of people identifying a certain part of himself because it doesn't clash with an idea that he wants to be so it's a kind of and I think that is a conundrum that all of us kind of bump up against at various degrees as we go through life with you know with with different things to do with our identity um, so it was it was fascinating and there, and there was so much to do as well that that was a real joy you know to change physically the costume the makeup all of it it's always a joy when there's a lot to do I mean, in a way, obviously, Nathan's character is, you know, is in drag, but in a way, you kind of are too, because you're portraying someone completely different. So how did you kind of prepare for that? What did you read? What did you kind of look into to prepare for that? Well, yeah, we used to, like Sam and Ping, we used to talk about it as a drag queen and a drag king, was the sort of the idea. Um, so for Preston, I looked at, I'm not massively fashionable myself, so, but uh, Preston is a kind of, yeah, I've had help. Um, <laughs> But uh, Preston is big into fashion. And I think he's also, because he's someone that he needs to be acceptable and current, uh, that I think he would have gone through many different stages as he's grown up. So as we were thinking about his backstory, paying attention to fashion was a big part of it. Um, and then it was about thinking about the context that he was from. You know, his beginnings, his like schools, family, time in prison, like all of those things. The music that he'd listened to, just kind of because these people build their inner, like, express their inner lives through their kind of outer clothes, their contexts. It was a, a really important to understand all of those things. So, uh, so the costume and the makeup was then probably the biggest thing about building and expressing that character. And what was it like playing alongside Nathan? What was it kind of like building that relationship? Because I mean, it's obviously it's quite intense on screen. And and how did you kind of prepare to to build that on screen? I will, Nathan's wonderful, like properly wonderful, um, as a man, as an actor, so it was a joy. It was really, really lovely. We kind of, we didn't have a huge amount of time to start with, so we had this kind of quite pragmatic approach where it was like, right, let's dive in. We've got to sort of figuratively and literally get naked very quickly, so let's go at it, you know? And that, and that sort of set us in a good, a good place to sort of have a very open and supportive kind of working relationship. And obviously those sex scenes that are, that are in there are kind of their own character and their own narrative in their own way. They tell a story. So what do you hope that viewers will take away when they watch this film? Not just about that, but, but you know, <laughs> the whole thing in general. I, think, I, I hope it begins conversations. I, I mean, I can't name exactly what those conversations are. I hope it chimes with people the way that, you know, we all makes people think about the way in which they or we express themselves um, and, and the sort of good and bad bits of that, I guess. And, but at the end of the day, I also hope, without kind of brushing over all the sort of important, potentially heavier conversations attached to the film, I, I hope people are entertained. Like, it's a, it's a thriller. It's a fast, fast, kind of intense thriller. And I, it's made for the cinema, and I, I hope people have a good time when they go see it. You know. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. It's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Very Thank you.